Alrighty then, the nine steps of sign reading and ninja levels of manifesting. So, a quote from Yogi Bhajan, who is an absolute superstar, really, uh, who brought Kundalini Yoga to the West in the US. And feel free to give Kundalini Yoga a try. It is outstandingly amazing. Make sure you stay grounded while you're doing it, because it's very... So, how quickly can we see the signs and get it into action? And how can we see where we're at? And, like, I've gone through these levels, so I'm aware that's the only reason I could be aware of them. And so, if you can... But so what do we mean is like if we're trying to work out a problem or we're trying to work out what's going on and, and get a solution and ideally as Yogi Bhajan says if we want to get sit there with yourself nice and calm and centered and we should have the entire aspect of it covered in a circular fashion okay the negative the positive the neutral the lesson the action the thought all of it nine seconds pretty damn sharp I'm pretty good at it now it's getting better and better. But how far can we get to and where can we see where we're actually at? All right, so manifesting. If something just pops in your life and you hadn't even thought about it, congratulations, you're a freaking ninja. You're making the, oh, look, you can see the ninjas. You're a superstar. Please let me how to do that. I will, I'll learn. I'd love to do that. Um, okay, so the next one is inspired thought. So if we've got, oh, oh yeah. I should do that oh that herb will be good or that meditation will be great and then you get done quickly you're on fire you're sharp your nervous system and your, your whole body is is in good shape congratulations well done uh, okay and then if we get an external observation so this could be anything but it could be a sign from say mother nature I often like to ask people is like okay you see your wallaby um, what's that wallaby got to say to you it's obviously a reflection of you and completely owning our own stuff but if we can get a lessons from our external world, take it into action to improve ourselves, then our vibration is going up higher, and then our entire world is going to be co-created from that higher place. Do them well. Okay, so if someone's reflected it, and it's happened twice, that's a confirmation. So if you've had two different people, or even three different pe people, well, to start, if it's two different people who have mentioned something out of, out of the blue in different contexts, well, that's confirmation. Like you've already thought about it, you've had one person and the second person, that's confirmation, get it done. Put it into place, make it happen. Uh, quite often, I just say, all right, um, that one sounds good, all right, jump on the phone and send that person a message or buy that now or take the action now because then that creates a roll-on effect. Doing well. Uh, next one, number five. It's been mentioned three times. You know, whether it's from an email or from another person that said that that supplement or that herb was good or and it's been mentioned two or three times from other people, get it done. That's enough. Simple. Uh, okay, so if next is if there's an emotional outburst. So if you do it yourself or someone tells you and starts calling your names and, you know, all the different names we like to call people, then, uh, Hello? How many signs and how many messages have you already been through that you weren't able to see? Loads. It's already gone through those. Who knows how many was there over sometimes years. If someone's getting pissed off at you, guess what? It's probably time for action. Okay, the next one. There's an incident. Okay, you know, you stub your toe, you, you hurt yourself on something, or you see something. It's like, oh, hang on. Well... Then you start to have to ask yourself some questions. Yeah, like for me, um, like I was just, yeah, you know, like lots of fire people, right? We overexercise, we overdo it because we're we're freaking awesome. We think we're awesome, but we're really deluded because we haven't fixed up our gut, you know, alkalizing and aligning our bodies. But when we do that, we actually can be awesome. Feel, fulfilling our potential is much more beneficial. So. I was running and doing lots of sports and always on the go, doing lots of overtime, all sorts of everything because I could. Right? But then my back went. So the nerves got pinched, turning at a disc, and I'm flat on my back, hardly able to move. And for someone who's highly physical capable and we're used to be doing great things, you know, marathons and half marathons and outdoor adventure sports, uh, what do I do now? I can't move. It's, it's a big blow to the person's mind because they're unable to do the things and be the person that they like to be and improve. 
So, you know, it's time to ask some questions. Or ask for advice because we screwed up ourselves. Uh, and then number eight is an accident or a shocking incident. And so if like a car accident or like an accident that caused injury, uh, guess what? It's usually that their person's insecure and they need to clear up their base because they've got a whole lot of tension and a lot of crap in their butt. And the universe needs to get them a message somehow and they're not paying attention. So they need a bit of a smack in the ass to take some action to possibly improve themselves. And so your personal and spiritual developments, well, let's face it, it's absolutely terrible. That's how it is. And if you're making the news, or if you're making the media and other people are talking about it, you're the lowest vibrational entity on the planet, virtually. Because if we need that much attention and that much negative press, and because everyone's usually coming from their lower self, for you to take action to fix something, well then you're pretty screwed. Tell you the truth, I'm basically going to be brutal and honest because you're an absolute moron. Get off your ass and fix yourself. Because you're just sabotaging yourself anyway and you'll end up with an early death and a disastrous life. But people seem to like that. Now they come from lower self, lots of critters and parasites in the reproductive system. It's part of being human. So, luckily, depending, hopefully, and, and actually I do it like this as well. So, as of course, everything in the universe is frequency based. If you can understand that. So, up here, obviously, you're on the crown. You're doing well. And then, so if you... If we can go from a, a shocking incident, hopefully it didn't make the media, and then we can turn ourselves up and fix up and then get ourselves up to the crown and stay up there with our vibrational frequency, then guess what? You're an inspiration. You're an inspirational story. You're an inspirational person who inspire many people. Hopefully they improve themselves. Uh, so I guess, and then improve consciousness when you get up to these parts of areas. So, luckily, I didn't have too many accidents. I got down to incidents. Lots of emotional outbursts. That used to happen all the time. I was a complete moron back then. Even though I thought I was intelligent, and everyone else is, thought I was too. So, nine signs of ninja level sign reading of our, our vibrational environment around us. How are we doing? How can we improve?